and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some more Mardu Metal. Played this uh, for a throwback Thursday um, a little over a week ago now, I guess eight days ago, and it was just a ton of fun and just wanted to play it again. And um, kind of as we talked about during the Naya deck, I haven't been playing too many white decks just recently. Just uh, white as a color doesn't have a ton to offer standard right now, kind of unless you're like a Bant deck, basically. But so, you know, we played the Naya earlier, and honestly, I liked that Naya midrange deck uh, that we played. Um, we lost to what I think are good matchups, but, you know, you don't just win all your matchups. Um, so got a little unlucky there with that one, too. But anyway, also wanted to play a Mardu deck because um, it's been a little bit and this deck was a lot of fun at last time so it's called mardu metal because we have it built around a path of metal if you don't know this rivals of ixalan enchantment um really the main thing we want to do here is we want to attack with the two creatures that have that first strike double strike vigilance or haste to transform our path of metal into metzali here because that legendary land is really good um you know, either we can just sit back and keep doing two damage to our opponent each turn, or we make the, their attacks really difficult, as we as you can see there. Um, so yeah, so that's what we have. We have a lot of creatures with haste, first strike, double strike, or vigilance. In fact, all of our creatures have that, except for Judith. But Judith is just a, a pretty strong card here that also helps out our uh, first strike knights. Uh, Judith does that. Um, and so, yeah, like this, this was just a, a real fun deck to play. So let's, let's try it again here. Um, sideboard wise, like, so Chandra, three mana Chandra works really well with Path of Metal, how you can just make two creatures with haste immediately and attack and flip Path of Metal right away. But I still just have the Chandras in the sideboard because we, like the main deck doesn't really take advantage of the minus two ability with only the lightning strikes to flash back, but it's a good card against control, you know, to like, just cut down your creature count move over to some planeswalkers and then also after sideboarding when you have all of these spells uh maybe you can take better advantage of the chandra minus two and have some more copies of it there um actually i'm going to make one really quick change that i remember us talking about last time i think i want a fourth knight of grace and two knight of malice I think just black is a much more popular color than white right now, and hexproof from black, therefore being more important. And so I want to actually, we had three and three, but the Knight of Grace was outperforming Knight of Malice. So let's go four and two that way. Okay. So there we go. That gives me an excuse to, to get a new deck list there too. All right, let's play through a league. And I will update our deck list command. And everything as we get started here. <laughs> Ride the lightning strike. I'll take it. Hopefully by turn three we draw another two or three mana card to be able to play to Keep our curve going. All right, so it looks like mono red. This is not that good of a hand against mono red. And like, I mean, I guess if we can hit our land drops, Aurelia, Oketra, those are different. Those two cards are difficult to deal with. I'm definitely sideboarding out Seraph of the Scales. I do not like Seraph uh, in this matchup. I don't like how it matches up against Chain Whirler. And Grath's probably going to go too. So unfortunately, we only have... Ugh. I mean, it just eats the shock if I play it, but... It just saves me two life to play it here. If I had a fourth land in my hand and I knew for sure I was playing Aurelia the next turn, I would play the Knight of Grace. Mm. 
Well, I wish I would have played the Knight of Grace now. And just, just gain that two life. But because we weren't sure if we were going to be able to play the Aurelia... I'm glad the Wizard's Lightning went there and didn't go upstairs. Yeah, I would have been dead. Hey, Original Q. Good evening. I know, all these Goblin Guides. We don't even get the trigger, right? Yep, definitely wish I had two more life. And our Knight of Grace was gone. But, all good. I don't think we're dealing t 20 before they deal 3 to me. Alright, so Decree, Legion's End. Um, the Spark's probably just fine too, though. For Frenzy and Chandra, because Chandra could be a problem. I don't want Seraph, I don't want Angrath. Uh, let's see. Path of Metal. Let's cut down to like two. We'll take out a Butcher. I mean, Butcher's good if they have multiple creatures. I guess all my Knights just get shocked. Nope, no Lyra in our sideboard. Lyra's value has gone down a lot with every, everybody having Fry and Noxious Grasp. It's just caught in the crossfire of those cards, unfortunately. Um... Yeah, this is the same Path of Metal deck we played eight days ago. If we were on the draw, I'd, I would mulligan here. I'm going to try it on the play, see if we can get to Aurelia and Oketra. Yeah, Path of Metal against our opponent's deck probably only kills Viachino Pyromancer. I'm assu assuming they have Viachino Pyromancer because they have Wizard's Lightning, but that's the only card it kills because it doesn't kill Firebrand because Firebrand has haste. Well, Chain Whirler is a lot different than than Path of Metal, because Chain Whirler, you get a 3-3 three, three creature, and also Chain Whirler also kills Firebrand. Path of Metal doesn't kill Firebrand. You don't get any creature. It's a lot different. Could kill Steamkin. That is true. I don't know what the point of this attack is. Do we not know the knights have first strike?
So I'm making this attack because if they do have like Fry to kill Aurelia, then my my two two knight at that because then it'd be a two two again because then the white creature would be gone. My two two wouldn't be blocking the three three chain whirler very well. You want to play with fire, huh? Not There's really. No When I say it's over. So I can either turn the Tajik into a 4-3 or the Aurelia into a 3-6. And I think I like turning the Aurelia into a 3-6. Whether Tajik dies to a shock or a strike isn't really that different. Now it's going to be really hard. Now like 6 is like the perfect toughness because of Fry. I know, I know Tajik has to die first, though, of course, before Aurelia could die, you know, because Tajik prevents the damage, but still. Yeah, and if we, yeah, if we could have attacked, we could have made it really even a 4-7. You don't often see multiple three sixes on the battlefield. Yeah, we have multiple three sixes. You don't often, oftentimes see that. Can't make any blocks that keep him alive. Path Metal is good against War Boss. It is good against War Boss. Good ish. I mean, it just clears up some tokens, but then they can still just like keep War Bossing you. It's a good ish. Let's keep it like this. Game number three. Ugh. Yeah, this is a pretty cool list. This is some um, some fun magic here. Come on, war boss now. I'm oh, sorry, I meant Legion's end now. Legion's end now. Been a lot better to have previously. Um okay. 
Which is kind of bad for us. I just have to decree, yeah. Which is bad for us if they have, you know, like Chandra. So I can't really afford to just play a creature that, you know, to try to block that dies and then they have war boss attack. Just too scary. Yeah, it would have been nice to have that Legion's End previously. Well, Butcher kills Firebrand in the 1-1. One -one. Please no land, please no land. Please no land. land no land no let's do this sit back and watch it burn hmm Not respecting any removal from me. Alright, but getting those out of the way, so now maybe Oketra can end this game fast. What's that smell? Darn. Oh, That's a blocker. And does damage to me. Gross. Man, and turns that on? Gross. That was a good draw. You know, Ketra is just sweet. Alright, Damiel, have a good night. How do I do the one last point of damage to them? Like, let's just say they have just Chain Whirler. This is just gonna be bad for you. They block Oketra, they take seven. And then I die to Chandra. I can't kill Chandra. If I kill Chandra, I die.
Love it. They made the wrong block. That was the wrong block. Because, yeah, they were thinking... Um, yeah, so I, I attacked, like, the 3-3 the three, three at Chandra. So they're thinking, oh, well, I'll just eat the 3-3. Three, three. Then they still have to do the 3 damage to Chandra. But they didn't realize that at that point the 3 damage kills them. So I had like, that was like a, a trick attack. No, so they couldn't wait to cast Lightning Strike. The Lightning Strike was going away at end of turn, so that's why they cast the Lightning Strike there. They couldn't wait and like block Oketra, then Lightning Strike Oketra, or anything like that. Yeah, they needed to block Oketra. That was their block. Or even no block. But yeah. It would stay alive for a turn. I think what they really what they should have done with the lightning bolt is just send it upstairs. They should have sent that lightning bolt at me and then and then chain roller just blocks the six six and um And my life's pretty tough. There's no way you have Disfigure. Are you kidding me? Who has Disfigure? Wild Breath Walker needs to cut it out. Unfortunately, these branch walkers are, are three twos. That'd be, ni be nice for them to be two ones. <clears throat> yeah, I could have. Besides playing Judith, instead of playing Judith, I could have played Path of Metal and transformed. But okay, what does Tajik do? So two for metal, three for Tajik. Attack, flip. Can give first strike to Tajik. Trade Judith.
<clears throat> All right, not sure if I should have traded Judith. They made it... Okay, they made blocks to keep. It's like my Judith didn't tr didn't kill two things. Um, but yeah, we were we at least had like we had the Metzali flipped, so we were gonna be able to do two damage to them each turn, and they they just couldn't attack us for like the rest of the game. So we we're just gonna be dealing damage to them with Seraph in the air, and then also just an extra two with Metzali. It's so like that, and they were they just couldn't attack us at all. Um, Legion's End, good against Wild Growth Walker. I'm not sure with, like, Noxious Grasp to Spark, how much of that kind of stuff I really want. I guess I should, I should be playing Noxious Grasps. Probably to Sparks too. I like they're probably Cavalier Thorns. Probably like Vraska Golgari Queen. I don't know. I kind of just like a lot of the cards we have here, though. I also don't want to take that much stuff out. I guess Lightning Strike is just upgraded to these things, though. Maybe Knight of Malice goes. Maybe Aurelia. Aurelia is not a good card against Chupacabra. That's not a good trade. Come on. Playing that disfigure card. Card's gross. Decks are going really good today. Open-minded loser. Kind of a weird username, but yeah, no, the decks are going really good today. Wild Growth Walker. Do I want to trade Tajik for Jade Light? Gets a counter on Knight of Grace. No, I'm just going to kill Lanwar Elf. Well, they're, they won't block with Wild Growth. Like, they would just have Jade Light block Tajik, and then Knight of Grace just deals three damage to them. Hmm.
So attacking with Knight of Grace here incentivizes my opponent to attack back. That was a just like that was a really good draw. That field of ruin it gets them the six land for their six drops here. That was just a really good draw. So now casualties of war kills Tajik and the Clifftop Retreat. Well, still a 2 1 and still kill with Firebrand. This is the sound of. I'm not going to let them chump there. Keep it. Wow, they actually kept it? What are they doing? Alright, so two of these creatures block the Knight of Grace. One blocks the other Knight of Grace. Two blocks the 3-2. One blocks the 4-3. And then they're dead next turn because they kept Trophy. They just, they just put themselves dead on board. Can't trophy a Knight of Grace. Right? Oh, no, that, never mind. Okay, yeah, they have one creature left. Never mind. Alright, they have a creature left. Nicely, a chapel like, doesn't even come into play untapped, though, also. Double check. Okay. So they have they have another draw step, which they get to fix their draw step with ha having the two field of ruins. But never mind, they weren't dead on board. So I shouldn't have attacked with the 4-3, or the 3. No, because then they just triple block if I don't attack with it. So yeah, no attacking with those was right. Um... Hexproof from black. Get it done. Don't need any lands when you have a knight. Good night. Good night. 
really glad we put in that extra Knight of Grace, right? Like that we changed it right before the, the league there made it four Knight of Grace. Filtering that turn with Field of Ruin could, couldn't really do anything, though. Well, this deck's good, Corn Lover. Like, this deck's good. Hex proof. Yeah, they couldn't during upkeep. So, no. Mono red cavalcade. This is not really what I want to be facing right now. Awesome. Glad you like that one, Space. Yeah. I recommend if, if y'all haven't checked out the mono red cannons, the Vance's Blasting Cannons deck we played yesterday. That was a lot of fun. And yeah, I like I really liked how that deck came out too. <clears throat> I like I like that they add cards to historic, I think. I think. Yeah, I think that I like that. We'll have to kind of see how it is in practice and everything. But no, no complaints about how they'll just add, like, every quarter they're going to add, like, 15 cards of design for Historic. Um, my biggest complaint will probably be if those cards are just really powerful and then Historic is just all about those cards. And then, you know, after, like, a little while, you know, after a year or two and... Then you just don't really even get to play like the old standard cards too much because those cards from that they added simply from historic are too powerful. I don't expect that to be the case, but I haven't liked that for for other things. Like that's that's my one thing about like the like the the special edition set stuff that I don't like. You know, like for example, com EDH and Commander is just all about like the the commander decks they just make like ridiculously good commander cards and like that's like what most everybody uses for their commanders are like those cards designed for that because they make them so good um you know like modern horizons had all those those cards that completely changed modern and everybody's playing all those i don't know i've just i haven't really liked I, I personally like playing old standard cards. I hope, yeah, I hope with like the historic, like they, they talked about how they're going to add in like, like 15 ish cards each quarter. So like 60 cards a year that are really designed on, um, you know, like changing historic kind of, kind of thing. And, um, I hope basically, I hope that they print that it's not really like brand new cards that are completely designed for historic and that it's more um i hope they go less of that route and more of the cards that used to be in standard that are like in modern right now that they you know like uh like den protector and you know like whatever like cards like that that they just put those cards into historic i hope that it's more of that that being the case. How much damage are we doing here? 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12? Or no, so it's just 9 and then 10. No, it's just 10. Alright, well I'll just play the Angrath. You're just no fire. No steel. Do 
So yeah, like Angrath made them lose two life if we would have played the two Dreadhorde Butchers, we attacked for two. It's the same there. I'd rather just have the Angrath in play. I haven't seen that at all, good brother. Um, are we sure, like, in that announcement? I read that... So, yeah, I read that announcement, and I thought they were just going to be olding, or adding old cards, but then yesterday, somebody in chat was saying that, that they could be just making brand new cards for Historic, for just Historic purposes. Um, yeah, I don't... I don't know to like yeah so the historic cards are going to cost two wild card two wild cards to craft that's not great um yeah that's not great we're doing cavalcade let me sideboard here i'm sh that's not like a decision that they just make lightly though i'm sure that they have their reasons for wanting it to be like that. Um, Path of Metal is awesome. Uh, and three cards. What do we want to cut? We want to cut Lannery Storm, Night of Malice, maybe one Oketra or a Seraph. Okay. I wouldn't be so sure that the, the two for one thing will be rolled back. Like maybe they're trying to go for something like how like cards and like modern cards for the most part are more expensive like just in um in real life than than standard cards because they've been out longer i mean there's it's it's because of like the scarcity issue because they've been out longer and there's less of them and all that kind of stuff but that's not like a, a thing on arena, but I guess they're trying to make that kind of a thing, I suppose. I don't know. All right, well, we know not to attack with Judith because they got war boss here. Need to be able to block that token. Yeah, the thing is, Oketra just wins games really quickly, but yeah, Seraph, Seraph can block uh, that flyer that's really important. That blocking bug gets me every time.
So every turn they're dealing two damage to me here. All right, can I block it? Nope, not yet. No? All right, now we can. close. Nope. 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 There we go. Fourth time's charm. I guess attacking with Dreadhorde Butcher would have forced them to chomp with War Boss. I didn't really think about it. Just kind of went through, went and did the easy attack here. We were so close to dying. I guess I should have thought about it. But thankfully, they didn't find another creature. No, I don't. I don't know if I'd want... No, I'd rather have other cards than Argyle's Bloodfast if, if you're not playing Path of Metal. I'd rather just have, like, some removal spells or something. Or something else. Like, some some more four mana Sorens. Like, like maybe, like, two of them be, like, four mana Sorens and... Uh, I don't know, two of them be, like, removal spells or something. Yeah, that was so, that was so close. We went down to one there. Alright, this could be fun. My, yeah, my opponent, with attacking, they put me down to one, so, like, they just, they just conceded, because they couldn't kill me. Are they going to have... Hmm. They have Legion's End. That's really annoying if I just go double Firebrand. I could just put this thing in play. Then if they have Teferi, bounce your path of metal, that's kind of annoying. That doesn't make any sense. I was like, well, I could hold up one Firebrand and have it kill the other Firebrand if they Legion's End. I was like, that doesn't make any sense. Ugh, they did have Legion's End, come on. So my, my only play against Legion's End was just not attacking. That was my my play against Legion's End is just not, don't attack. Yeah, I, I saw yeah, I saw you good brother. I saw that. No, they you linked that before. The focus and discipline encounter no. I have just the trick for this. Liliana.
still have much to learn. All right, we'll see how Metzali does. Yeah, like, them finding Liliana is probably really good for them. Because that's, that's a card they can actually give them a clock. They're going to need a clock to beat Matsali. Good luck. Good luck. Alright, just put yourself dead. And then Metzali finishes him off. Boom. Just does two damage to each opponent, and they're at two. Yeah, I guess that Liliana was just a wee bit slow. All right, Chandra's, Chandra's, uh, Grasp. So I think I take out Aurelia and Strike. Yeah. That looks good. I don't love Dispark. It's basically just like Teferi Liliana. We'll see if they have if they play like a whole bunch of bell haunts and stuff like that and I don't know, we have we have the grasps. Uh, no black mana. Our hands just kinda doesn't do anything. It doesn't feel great mulliganing three lands and four spells, but this just doesn't do anything. All right, well, this does stuff. Um, Goblet Shrine? The stuff that this does is hit land drops. And then we're just going to draw spells to play. Easy peasy. Hey, right MTZ Arena Meta. That's Welcome, everybody. Get. From MTG Arena Meta stream, we are currently... Uh, so I just played Tajik. Yeah. We're currently playing Mardu Metal, playing a Path of Metal deck here. I suppose that's how it was meant to happen. Um... And uh, up next, we're going to be playing a, a Grixis aggro donation deck. This isn't a fight you can win. Yeah, so welcome, everybody. This might be a bad idea. This is where we play. Um, if you don't know me, I, I stream every day and stream um, four days, four decks a day. 
usually play a lot of fun brews and everything. All right, so yeah, MTG Arena, how'd you do? So you played blue green flash today, wasn't doing wonders. This okay, best of one, feet. seven one, then a couple three threes. Yeah, I played a Sultai flash um, a few days ago, and I was also really disappointed with it. Um, I actually lost every match. I think I was zero and zero and three. Yeah, I went zero and three with the deck, and then I, I gave up. <laughs> Trust me. But yeah, started off real strong you, there, seven one. Let's try this. In best of one, don't you just do you face like a whole lot of aggro in best of one? That would be that would kind of be my um, assumption there. Yeah, so many Teferi time wasters over here, just delaying the game. I've got it. It's almost all aggro. Tons of vampires. I won't wow, didn't see any mono red. I, yeah, I would have quick. expected a lot of mono red. Is Esper pretty popular? Like, like anti aggro Esper? I don't even know if Oketra is going to be a good draw for us in three turns. I guess so. We're going to need to deal with this Teferi in the first two cards there. I'd really like another haste creature here. <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. Time for plan B. All right, so we've seen it. 10 lands. Because we also scry to land to the bottom. So Keep 10 lands pace. and 3 cards. I mean, I kept 5 lands, 1 card. But that was under the assumption that my deck I'll would you. help me out a little bit and give me some spells. They gave me 1 Firebrand, 1 Tajik, and 4 Some more lands. Servants, your corpse will volunteer. That's a terrible play. They should tick up 100 times out of 100 there. Um. They still got me though. I'm not going to show them Noxious Grasp here. Okay, Boros Angels. That makes sense. Get, like, a bunch of Clarions main deck. No, Mono Red is is usually better than Mono Black as far as, like, in the, that mirror. You want to be on the red side. Uh because your removal spells, you know, like black has some good removal spells, but that's all they are. Where red has also has good removal spells, but can also go upstairs and finish the game out with them with like your lightning strikes and everything. And mono red has a better card advantage engine with frenzy than what black has. <laughs> Forgot knight of malice and knight of grace are in standard. I know, right? You don't see too much of them these days. So one more attack and get Butcher above Cry of the Carnarium. Flame. Alright, I'll start with Malice. With it being pro-white, they cannot bounce it with Teferi. Show remorse. I'll show the strength. 
Oh, I've done the hero thing before. I've learned a bunch of new burn spells to say hi to my fiery friends. Hey, that was uncalled. Only time will tell. All right, so I was just gain five life. That's a bad sign they kept that card on top so quick. That's a bad sign. This cast down probably could be Dispark. Could be Dispark. So they have to spark. So that's unfortunate. I'm known for my excellent timing. Here we go. They want to use removal on that little elemental to keep Teferi alive. The, the reason why to attack Teferi here, just at all, um, is so that they don't get to do instant speed wrath. Your corpse will make an excellent minion. From battle to the grave. So this deals three to them, puts them down to two, where if they, you know, kill Dreadhorde Butcher, they die. So maybe I should just be doing that, but we're doing we're doing pretty great here. I'm just, I'm just going to take out their Planeswalker, you know, keep playing for the, the late game. <laughs> That's exactly what they're doing, Boot. They're just throwing walkers at me. That's all they're doing. With no remorse. Just throwing walkers. They shock in there. It's weird. All right, Marty Metal is four and zero. Oh. Four and oh, y'all know what that means. We are on our final boss. Here we go. Get your final boss emotes out there. Mardu Metal. Dude, Mardu cards are just fun. This deck's pretty great. We haven't done too much with Path of Metal. We've finished off a couple of opponents with it. I guess like two. We've won like two games with like the Path of Metal. Not really. I don't this deck probably doesn't need Path of Metal that much. 
Yeah, Mardu Mardu's a cool combination. Oh no, arena not working. Please start working. The Temple of Mystery. It's so mysterious. They could be playing anything. They could have anything. Soul time. Path of Metal does a good job killing Risen Reef. I wanted to play Knight of Malice there, but yeah. Always good to kill their creatures. Final Fantasy VIII boss theme. I can. Alright, I'll look for that. We're going to be able to flip Path of Metal here. Assuming they don't have removal, I guess. Whoa. That's a good trade for us. They don't have that for my Angrath now. Our opponent is playing Field of the Dead, right? I right, definitely want Grasp into Spark. So maybe I'm supposed to play <clears throat> Hmm. Maybe I'm supposed to play Legion's End. Yeah, they had they had the O3, which Flash definitely doesn't have the O3. And yeah, Decree can exile. So yeah, I'm not playing Decree or Legion's End right now until like seeing more of their deck. Come on, please draw white mana.
Please draw white mana. <clears throat> Well, this would be kind of kind of be telling if they're field of the dead or not, whether or not they take the blood sun. Yep. Please help, deck. Let's see, godless shrine. All right, 0 for 2, but we we needed it on turn 3, so still got that shot. I don't know what that thing is, but it's dead. Is it like a beast horror? Nightmare beast. All right, so I don't think they're Field of the Dead. All right, I think we can rule out Field of the Dead. Like the phases of the moon. Like what? I think you will find my notes helpful. I think we can take these Blood Suns back out. Oh, violence is impolite. So they're Sultai Control, huh? Oh my gosh, you have Kaikar in the Omniscience draft? That sounds awesome. Seek and find. Aggression is noted. Do not harm my scrolls. Hmm. All right, so yeah, it's Sultai Control. Aid your research. I think I may just take out Path of Metal completely. stuff we just took out firebrand <clears throat> firebrand probably isn't Super impactful without Path of Metal. Would I rather play Knight of Malice over Firebrand? Probably. Angrath's incredible. Firebrand does kill... Risen Reef. 
which is nice. We'll go two firebrand one night, one night. <clears throat> so we saw there, like they were pretty. They really like to enter the God Eternals. Angrath just steals that token, or the enter the God Eternals token. Yeah, we didn't. Yeah, we didn't see any Vraskas. Um, we saw like the the token and then like the Prowler were like the only things to decree that we saw. Opponents down at five cards, which is good because we're kind of at a five card hand <laughs> ourselves. Oh, come on, deck. Spell. Yeah, we could only have two lands last game. So I wanted to keep the five lander. <clears throat> After what happened last game. Spell. Well, I probably would rather have the other knight. There instead. I know if we could just mix this up a little bit and have spells and lands, our deck would be good. We'll either have spells like last game or lands like this game. Can't have both though. How is this happening that we just keep drawing lands whenever we keep five? How does this happen? And I keep two and it's just all like all of our draws are spells. And we keep five, all of our draws are lands. How does that even happen? We've drawn three lands and our our two one mana cards, our two least impactful cards in our deck to go with three lands. So our two spells have been our worst spells. Yeah, I would kill the Reef. Like, if they play another Elemental, I would kill the Reef. We just don't have to immediately. So you never know. Maybe we draw, like, I don't know, Angrath and Steel it or something. I don't know what, but... So four lands and our worst two spells. The, the attack didn't matter. The firebrand was going to kill the reef. My my opponent just tried to sneak Every in some damage before it did. did. There was no reason not to attack there also. or the just like, past holds our future. The only thing that could happen... This is unreal. We do five lands and our two one-drops that we had in the deck. I am moving on. I am done with that match. That was really sad. I would like to play the exact same deck again. I think that um, any like normal hand that we get to play, we're going to win that matchup. But we didn't get to play a normal hand. Like I'd much rather play against that deck than Mono Red. This is going to be a lot more difficult. Oh, Wizards. Even worse. <laughs> I'd rather play against Mono Red than Wizards. Wizards is so tough. Uh, scry built to the top. We're dead. We have no chance against the, f the Flyer. Whatever the Flyer's name is. No, Icon of Ancestry? Yuck. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't have Lyra in the board because I think Lyra is, um, gets outclassed very easily. Or not outclassed, how does it... Basically the... Okay, it's good. So Lyra's good against aggro, right? Obviously. Like, good against, like, Mono Red and the Vampires. Well, the cards that... Mono Red and Vampires are both bringing in sideboard cards that deal with Lyra incredibly efficiently. Because... Because M20 brought Fry and uh, Fry for Mono Red, Noxious Grasp. Those two cards are, are coming in against me, and Lyra is really poor against those cards, and so I just don't have Lyra in the sideboard then. Um, No removal against wizards just isn't going to cut it. I don't think Path of Metal kills any of their creatures and does rely on us attacking, which is difficult to do. I, get, I mean, I guess if we flip Path of Metal, though, it's really good. Let's keep, we'll keep one in. Yeah, Unsummon is a, kind of a nightmare. When you're playing cards like these, you know, Aurelia, Seraph, Oketra, Unsummons a Nightmare. Hmm. I think it's Judith. Man, really frustrated about that Soul Time match, games two and three. Okay, come on, deck. Can we just get some good draws at some point? Like two lands and some other spells in the next five draws. Okay, good start. Maybe we should have cut Butcher. Let's 
since it's really bad against these one threes. Icon's been really nice for them. Just both top. We don't get to play Seraph. Both scry top again. Hey, Dr. Doctor. Be Friday. That's right. Tomorrow we're doing our sub battle stream. I'll be back on early. We'll have like less than a 12 hour turnaround. Want to play around Spell Pierce. This icon has actually looked really, really impressive. It's been great. I'm not playing like Bedevil or any artifact removal either. And Grass Rampage, Bedevil, I don't I don't have any of those cards, so we're just kinda out of luck here. Quite the difference if our opponent's attacking for one or attacking for two. That's quite the difference. Yeah, you can sit back and take so much damage from one threes, but two fours kill you a lot faster. Um, and then, of course, the card advantage also, going and finding Arcanist and everything. Why aren't they doing lightning strike? So many burn spells. Yeah, this icon of ancestry has just been amazing.
they should just attack with both, and then whichever one I block, then they Reckless Rage the other one. Could have killed it there, but whatever. All right, we got Icon of Ancestry. Dude, we can never beat the final boss. We have we have the worst luck against final bosses. We have the worst luck. Okay. So Mardu Metal was really cool to the last two matches, and it was really that man, such bad luck against the Sultai deck. Keep a two lander, draw only spells, and then keep a five lander and draw only lands. Except for we did draw we draw two spells with with the only lands. The two firebrands that I had left in the deck, I sided the other two out. So our two one drops, the two least impactful cards in our deck. And then lands. That was a really, really sad match. And then I was just kind of sad and frustrated, and then, you know, we just got steamrolled by the wizard deck. So my heart wasn't really in it after that rough match five. Icon of Ancestry looked amazing against us, but besides that, um, as far as our deck goes, uh, the knights were really good, especially Knight of Grace, um, besides against like the red deck that had infinite burn spells. Um, Oketra did some good stuff. We didn't really use our planeswalk planeswalkers at all. We never drew Soren. Um, we got to win like two games after flipping Path of Metal. So Path of Metal wasn't like really impactful, but just our creature base. You know, like Firebrand did did a lot overall. Firebrand, the Knights, the Butchers were really good. And then Tajik, Judith, Lannery Storm. Those were all just really good cards. Um and these did a little bit up here at the top end, too. Oketra won some games. Um, Oketra just putting a fast clock, like attacking for six, and also making some 4 fours to block. It definitely won us some games there. But yeah, so that's Mardu Metal. All right, so if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed this deck as well. Um, sorry about the last two matches, but we had a lot of good games uh, besides those. Um, but yeah, don't forget to the like and subscribe buttons over there. Leave a comment also, but thanks for watching Mardu Metal and I'll see you for the next video.